Have you ever tried Spanish paella before? It's a delightful dish that represents the heart of Spanish cuisine. Originating from Valencia, a region on Spain's eastern coast, paella is a vibrant, flavorful dish that's gained popularity across the globe. The name paella comes from the old French word paelle, meaning pan, which is fitting as this dish is traditionally cooked in a large flat pan. The beauty of paella lies in its versatility. It can be tailored to suit a wide variety of tastes, with ingredients ranging from seafood to rabbit to snails. However, today, we're focusing on a classic version, featuring a harmonious mix of spices, vegetables, rice, and optional meat. To prepare this dish, we'll need olive oil, onion, garlic, green peppers, tomatoes, sweet pepper powder, paprika, cumin, coriander, salt pepper, long grain rice, broth, frozen peas, optional roasted red pepper, and optional chicken or meat. Now that you're familiar with what Spanish paella is, it's time to dive into the cooking process. The first step in making Spanish paella is preparing the base. We begin by heating two large spoons of olive oil in a large pot over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, we add a large chopped onion and three crushed garlic cloves. Stir them around until they become tender and transparent. This may take a few minutes, but it's crucial to the flavor of our paella. Next, we introduce two sliced green peppers, either hot or sweet, depending on your preference. Give them a good stir for about two to three minutes until they soften up a bit. Now it's time for two large peeled and chopped tomatoes. Continue stirring for about five minutes until the tomatoes become tender and well integrated with the other ingredients. We then add a small spoon of sweet pepper powder, paprika, cumin, and coriander to the pot. Stir the ingredients well until they blend together. Once your base is well cooked and the spices are well integrated, we move on to the next step. Now it's time to transform this base into a flavorful paella. First, we're going to introduce long grain rice to our spicy, aromatic base. This variety of rice is perfect for paella as it absorbs flavors beautifully. Stir it well, making sure each grain is thoroughly coated with the spices and olive oil. This will ensure our rice is packed with flavors right from the start. Now it's time for the broth. You can use chicken or vegetable broth, whichever you prefer. Pour it into the pot, stirring gently to blend it with the rest of the ingredients. The goal here is to distribute the flavors evenly throughout the pot. Next, let's spread out the rice evenly and bring the broth to a boil. This is the stage where the magic happens, as the rice starts to absorb the broth, taking on all the flavors we've built up. With the rice boiling in the broth, we're halfway through the cooking process. While the rice is cooking, you can prepare the meat. If you choose to include chicken or beef in your paella, Begin by frying the cut pieces in a pan with a bit of olive oil until they're fully cooked. Once your rice is tender and the broth is absorbed, it's time to add in the frozen peas and sliced roasted red pepper. Give everything a good stir to distribute the ingredients evenly. If you've cooked up some meat, now's the time to add it in. Mix it well with the rice and vegetables to ensure every bite is as flavorful as the last. Cover your pot once more and let your paella simmer for about five minutes on low heat. This final simmering step allows all the flavors to meld together, creating a harmony of taste that's truly a hallmark of a well-made paella. Once the paella has simmered, remove it from the heat and let it rest. This brief pause allows the flavors to settle and intensify before serving. Now that your Spanish paella is ready, it's time to serve it. The beauty of paella lies not only in its flavors, but also in its presentation. This vibrant dish is traditionally served straight from the pan, allowing everyone to dig in and enjoy the mix of textures and tastes. A side of green salad or toasted bread makes a lovely accompaniment, adding a fresh crunch or a toasty warmth to the meal. Remember, paella is a social dish meant for sharing, so make sure there's plenty to go around. You can adjust the ingredients according to your personal taste, and you're always welcome to add your own twist to this classic recipe. Perhaps a sprinkle of fresh herbs or a squeeze of lemon? The possibilities are endless. Enjoy your homemade Spanish paella. Remember, cooking is all about experimenting and having fun, so don't be afraid to make this recipe your own.